All right, 120. So this is 30 round magazine, 545. Should be 650 rounds per minute. Down to 30. Okay, so I'm 30 frames. Alright, let's try 15. Bang. Alright, I don't know if that was faster or slower. It all seems about the same. Uh, we'll definitely see the difference with uh, the Vepper and the SKS. Feels slower. It does. Let's drop it thirty. Uh -huh. Down to fifteen frames. SKS, 20 round mag, there it goes. Down at 30. Well, I can't say just yet, but I'm assuming they fixed the rate of fire issue with automatic weapons, but there's still an input delay for uh, lower frame rates, so if you have to manually click the fire, it's still an issue. So I'm going to try some of the lower frame rates. Obviously, we tried 15, but uh, I'm going to try something maybe like 10, 5, 2, I have 3 magazines? Three backups, okay. So, we've already tried 15. Let's try 10. Here it goes. Well, that's pretty fast, I guess. Uh, let's drop it down to 5. Alright. Bang. Well, I'm glad to say that I believe they fixed the rate of fire issue with automatic weapons. I dropped it down to 2 FPS, as you guys remember. With a 60 round mag, the 2 FPS rate of fire was, I think, 60 rounds per minute. It took a whole minute to uh, empty the mag. So this is a 30 round mag on 2 FPS. Bang. Alright, yeah, they, um,. They fixed the issue with fully automatic weapons, but people that still use things like the SKS, the Grok, it's gonna be bad. So I guess your best bet really is to just get a cheap AK. Just any uh, automatic weapon. If you have a bad computer, don't try to mess around with the SKS or the Grok or maybe even the, the any of the Vepers. Stuff like that, stuff that only has single fire. You need to be using a weapon that has designated automatic mode. Or else, um, there's a chance you'll, uh, okay, let me show you. 
This is about the fastest I can fire in 15 frames per second. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> 